Hello again. Now the main stories in London. A woman in her 20s is in a critical condition after she was involved in an accident with a van in Holborn this morning. Police and paramedics were called to the junction of Farringdon Road and Clerkenwell Road at 4.30. The woman, who was a pedestrian, was taken to a central London hospital where she is in a critical condition. An inquest into the death of a couple who died in a hotel pool in Hertfordshire is due to finish today. Komba Kapakwa, who was 31, and Josephine Fode, 22, died at the four-star Down Hall County House Hotel in Hatfield Heath in April of last year. A fellow guest had seen them splashing in the pool but didn't think there was anything wrong, so he went into the sauna. When he came out, he discovered the couple's bodies in the water. Conscientious objectors who refused to fight in World War I 100 years ago are being remembered today on International Conscientious Objectors Day. Relatives of those who wouldn't fight because they refused to kill gathered at Tavistock Square in central London to meet and exchange stories. Jacob Greaves has been with them and sent this report. This is perhaps one of the lesser known stories of the First World War. The thousands of so-called conscientious objectors chose not to take part in fighting in that brutal conflict. They did so for a variety of reasons, be it on religious, political or indeed ethical grounds. But many faced hardships and were branded pariahs at the time. In 1916, when conscription was introduced, they had to justify their cases at hearings. As a result, there were those who were sent to the front to fight and ultimately who died. Others were interned in labour camps for as much as 10 years or imprisoned here in the UK. Now, as the world commemorates the centenary of that conflict, those who are gathered here today include some of the relatives of those victims on people to remember not only the hardship endured, but also the bravery of the decisions that were taken. Jacob Greaves reporting there from Tavistock Square. London may be one of the most photographed cities in the world, but one photographer has managed to bring a whole new perspective to the capital. Evan Scuthorpe attached a camera to a quadcopter and flew it over London with some stunning results, capturing in the process some of our most famous landmarks. And you can watch that video in full by going to our website, itv.com forward slash London. Let's take a look at the weather now with Martin. We love to get away, whatever the weather. My Ferrylink Dover to Calais Ferries. Sponsor ITV London Weekday Weather. Hello again. Gorgeous weather today, bright and fine. Tomorrow's warm and sunny, and then the weekend is perfect for getting the barbecue out. A bit more fair weather cloud this afternoon, but still plenty of sunshine and nice temperatures up at 22 degrees. Tonight is then clear and dry, and the clear skies translate to some gorgeous sunshine tomorrow morning. So a really nice bright start. The temperature picking up quickly. So by the time we get to the afternoon, even warmer than today, up at 24. That's 75 in Fahrenheit, and it's staying like that for the weekend. Dry, sunny and warm. I'll see you later. Goodbye. My Ferry Link Dover to Calais Ferries. Sponsor ITV London Weekday Weather. Martin, thank you. That's all from us for now. We'll be back at six o'clock. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.